What's going on guys? This is a really quick unscripted and unplanned video. What you see before you is Apple's 27 inch Thunderbolt display, not a cinema display. What you see over here is just a regular, you know, 1080p Asus display. And right behind that we have not a Mac, but a Hackintosh that is going to be powering both of these guys with different GPUs. So really quick, this does take it a second to boot up. Um, it's not quite perfect yet, but I'm going to go ahead and turn on the motherboard. Uh, this is the Gigabyte Z87X UD7TH. This is the first motherboard, and uh, I think they're the only motherboard right now that does indeed have Thunderbolt 2.0 on it. And so basically what we're going to be doing is booting this up, and um, I think this is pretty awesome. So what we have going on here, we have the built-in HD 4600 graphics of the Intel 4770K, and we have a dedicated GTX 760 there powering the ASUS display. So right now, as you can see, the Thunderbolt display does indeed show us the bootloader. Now Chimera, Chameleon, for some reason, it just hated this absolutely. Uh, I had to use Clover. So we have Clover going on here. I just hit enter and skip the, uh, you know, the automatic boot, just kind of did it manually. Now this is where it takes a second. I did apply the uh, Tony Mac X patch, I guess you can call it, but really it's just deleting a kernel extension. Uh, for some reason, it takes forever if you don't delete the kernel extension. Here it still does take a while, but it's definitely improved. Uh, it takes a little bit to get the little spinny thing here. But uh, really quick, this is blank because in the BIOS, you have to set the integrated GPU to initiate, not the dedicated GPU. So that's the only way that you can actually, you know, see what's going on on the Thunderbolt display at the BIOS level. But, you know, once OS X boots up, it'll be awesome. You'll be able to um, have both displays running. And it's really cool because this is a lot of pixels. And uh, in theory, we could be running both of these off the integrated graphics. But, you know, why would you do that if you can get a dedicated GPU? Right now, uh, unfortunately, there is no way to get the Thunderbolt display running off the 760. That's just not possible right now. It's it's a hardware thing. Uh, we'd have to be able to somehow link this port to this card, and we just can't do that. But so right here, as you can see, OS X is just now booted up. Now we do have picture on the ASUS display, and here we have OS X. And just to further prove that this is a uh, Thunderbolt display and not a cinema display, we're gonna come here to more info. And we're gonna come up here to displays. As you, as you can see right now um, in Clover, it, uh, Clover is detecting it as an iMac, whereas Chimera defaults to a, um, a Mac Pro, but that's just an SM BIOS setting that's very easy to change. Uh, but so here we go. We have a built-in Thunderbolt display, 2560 by 1440 being run off the Intel HD 4600, and that VE248 ASUS display being run off the GTX 760. And so just to bring you guys back to the, the hardware here, let's try to focus this a little bit better. We have the cable, we have MagSafe here. And the last thing to prove that it's not a cinema display, right there we do have a Thunderbolt connection. Also, once again, we have HDMI running right from the GTX 760. So really, if you really wanted to do this, you could have like three displays plugged into this guy and still be able to run this guy off the integrated GPU. So that's something that's absolutely awesome. And as you guys would expect, despite being run off two different GPUs, you can still drag this across. The performance on both is very good, as I do have you know the, the graphics acceleration for both the cinema display, or sorry, the Thunderbolt display and that display. So I thought that was cool. Uh, be sure to let me know what you guys think about this in the comments, and I'll see you guys very soon for, I guess, a more official video. See you guys later.